All right, so here it is, the Rogue Slice Sled. If you follow any of my programming on VentureAthlete.com or Prep and Defend on Instagram, I like to incorporate a lot of sled training, a lot of drags, a lot of pulls. And you'll see on there that before I was using sandbags or dragging tires or pulling hose, and that's all great. It's still important to put in the programming, but something that I wasn't able to do until I got the sled was pushes. So with these removable posts, I'm not only able to drag the sled, but I'm able to push the sled as well. And I wanted to have that as part of my training. I really like it because it's small, it's collapsible. It doesn't take up a lot of room in the garage. I think even if it was the most outstanding sled, if it was a large sled that doesn't collapse, I don't think I would have got one because it wouldn't fit in the garage and I, and I wouldn't have a place to put it. So I really like how this sled, uh, it collapses down. It is a little pricey, but if, like me, I try to buy something different for the gym every year. And for me, I was looking forward to getting the sled. I use it a lot. So it comes with the straps. So it comes with one strap, uh, but it has two of these. So you can put them over your shoulder. Um, you can grab them and you can drag it reverse, or you can put them behind you to pull forward. But, it's on. but something that I really recommend is a rope. I like the rope a lot better than just a strap. You can still drag, you can still pull, but rather than placing it over one shoulder, I can grab it, I can uh, double it over and I can have it over both shoulders or I can grab it over one shoulder and pull to one side like dragging fire hose or if you're pulling something with the rope. So I, I like the rope and another big reason I like this rope is for clipping it onto the sled and doing the hand over hand drags or pulls. So you'll have the sled down on the other end, this is clipped in and you're just pulling hand over hand for 30 feet. 50 feet, however long it is. So I do like to use the rope and you'll just need a little piece of webbing to attach it to the clip. So. And I'm gonna show you how this collapses down when you're done using it and you wanna put it away. The pin breaks down, folds flat. Um, it's up when you wanna put weight plates, but folds flat, I like to place sandbags on it. So I use it in this configuration a lot or if you just have random weights that you wanna put on. So those, that comes down, these posts pop right off. It actually stands up on its own when it's on its side. So that's how I like to store it. If you really wanted to, you could probably make a rack and actually have it stored up off the ground, out of the way, uh, but that's really easy to get to. It's really fast to set up and let me know how else I can help you out.